Halloween. We have done two previous Halloweens. I don't think we did anything last year for Halloween. I don't know. I only remember one. We've done a pumpkin before, but we did just a really plain standard jack-o'-lantern style pumpkin. Um, I went on a pumpkin walk the other day. Did you? I did. And I saw a lot of really cool, intricate, carved and etched pumpkins. And I thought, why have we never tried to do that? We we usually try just the easiest thing. <laughs> so today we're gonna try something a little bit harder, but still easy. This was a lot harder. So this is the first one that we're going to be doing. Dan tried to draw my face. <laughs> and that's what I came up with. This took quite a while actually to get into a form that the water jet could read it. And so now we're set up. We got to carve it in record time, but Halloween is not really Halloween unless you have a stupid amount of dry ice. Did you just sniff it? Did you just grab it? Are you not supposed to do that? <laughs> okay, start breaking it all off. I like how it like, it's like air hockey. Hover ice. More. I'm tracing the surface not, area here. Not too fine though, or else it disappears too quickly. Yeah, dump all that in. Okay, we gotta hurry and cut while this is still going. What is that? It's like... Somehow severed in half. Where did that even come from? It floated up in here. <laughs> did we blow out the entire back of it? I'm surprised we still have some dry ice going. I thought all of it would get like buried in garnet in the tank and then just kind of disappear. So like, I don't know where this came from, but there's like a- What is that? There's a flat side to it. What is that? It's pumpkin. But how? I don't know what- Oh, this is the bottom. This is that line right there. Oh, that's that's like, that cut. It cut both, all the way through the both, pumpkin. Both sides. There we go. <laughs> and it completely fell out and floated to the top. So I thought for sure we were running it slow enough to not go all the way through, but that is like, that's a pretty clean cut all the way through. <laughs> so just like me, Dan, it's all forehead. <laughs> So we couldn't remember how quickly we set the water jet last time we did this, but last time we were able to cut just the top layer without cutting the back side. So we had this running at 100 inches a minute, which obviously fast. wasn't fast enough. We can max out the machine at 300. So we're gonna run it three times as fast, but with a new design. This spooky wormhole because it's got to stay Halloween themed. <laughs> We're going to run this at three times the speed, but it says that it is going to take more than twice as long. So I think that's just because we have a lot more start and stops in there. We were just talking and we think where we went wrong is last time we ran it at low pressure and not 60,000 PSI. So we sped this one up and we're going to run it at low pressure and maybe, maybe it'll work. back is just totally blown out, Dan. Is it? <laughs> Looks like it the was shot with a totally gun. sucked the back in. Looks like it was shot with a gun on the back side. 
where we've got everything so close together. It was so spread out on the back, it was like it was hitting in the same spot over and over again. Yeah, that's... I don't know if you can really tell what it is. You guys just got sucked into a wormhole. So, Frankenstein slash Mitchell failed. Wormhole was a medium success. I just don't medium think... Medium success is pretty good for this channel. <laughs> That's higher than what we usually have. I just don't think water jets can quite do those super intricate pumpkins that you see every year. I was really hoping that this would help compensate for my lack of artistic ability, but no, not really. But at least you have a big water jet. <laughs> Last Halloween themed thing is uh, we're just gonna cut a bunch of candy bars in half because you never get a good cross section of like a Snickers or a Milky Way. Cause when you bite it, you like smash it down. I wanna see what like- You got the teeth crunch. Yeah, yeah I, I wanna see what a true cross section looks like of that. I wanna see how they layer that in there. Yeah, there's a good chance that this is not gonna work and we're just gonna push them all off. But here we go. You guys smell that? It smells chocolatey. It smells very chocolatey. So what happened here, dude? I, I adjusted halfway through because they weren't lined up exactly. So I was trying to line it up as it went. I got some of them pretty good though. Okay, Milky Way. This is my favorite one. Look at how well, I was considering eating this, but feeling just like how slimy it is, there's no way I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> and that is what a Milky Way looks like inside. And... What one is this, guys? They're all twerks! It was a setup! A setup, I tell you! Huh. Reese's, uh, what is that? A nutrageous? Nutrageous so Reese's Pieces. Those those are Reese's Pieces that are in it. It tastes just as disappointing as it looks. <laughs> Most of these look like they could be bowel movements, especially this Babe Ruth. This one's, well, I thought Babe Ruth was like nuts all the way through. No, that's Payday. The that's a Reese's stick. <laughs> Why are they all melting? What you is call it? the water hot? I think the water was just too hot, yeah, because all the chocolate is just melting. Because I had them in the bag with the dry ice, so like they should have been. They were like frozen cold. before, and the water, when it comes out of the nozzle, it's actually quite warm. That's disgusting. You really put it in your mouth? <laughs> Starburst, uh, they look the same. Oh, my fingers are disgusting. But they're kind of cool. Uh, it's way melty. <laughs> the cookie just like is <laughs> soggy. Uh, and that's a white chocolate Twix. Well, hopefully you guys either uh, learned something, were entertained, or helped you kill some time. Most of these people are probably in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> this is an acceptable video to watch <laughs> in the bathroom. Side note, we still have spider rings left. We, uh, last week, was it last week? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. We uh, did a promo for our water jet knives. If you buy a kitchen knife in the, uh, um, high carbon stainless steel, you get a spider ring, which looks like, which looks like this. You can throw it at the wall and it sticks like this. So if you buy a kitchen knife at waterjetknives.com, you get a free one of those sent to you. We'll have a link down in the description, or you can go to waterjetknives.com and look at the kitchen knives and, uh, happy Halloween, I guess, if you're into that sort of thing.